Good morning, my sugar boogers. How are you today? I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope you are ready to receive a prayer and a devotional. If you love this and you stop by, but maybe you're not crazy about prayers and devotional, you can skip past this part, but I'm just going to say it's much needed in, in this household. So today we're going to go over our life-changing confidence. We're still less than halfway through this. I might uh, switch it up a little bit and start a new devotional coming up soon or um, Bible study because I've been having some on my heart to start something different, but I'm going to keep it in prayer first. So if you love these, I'm not completely stopping this. I am just going to switch it up some. So come say, Hey, if you need a prayer, <clears throat> I don't know anybody that couldn't use it every now and then. Can I get an amen? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm trying to find my little charger for my, um, there we go. God answered. I was trying to find my little charger for my other phone so that um, I could check and make sure that messages are coming on. That might not be the right charger though. So just hold on with me for a second. Come say hey. I'm giving it a second anyway for my, my ladies to come on. <clears throat> that, <clears throat> that might get on from my text group. If you're not a part of my text group, it's an announcement group, okay? It's not a group text. It's just announcing whenever we have things going on. So if you want to be a part of that and you just want announcements whenever I go live, here it is. Then just say text or <clears throat> um, you can message me and I can send you the link. Um, <clears throat> I also have some really helpful ladies on here and I just want to real quick make this announcement. Okay, if you've been on here and you consider yourself to be a part of this community or a friend of mine, <clears throat> I'll, I automatically consider you a friend of mine if you're friendly to me. Just know that first of all, if you ever have any doubts. <clears throat> but if you ever see somebody ask a question on my personal page or on this page and you know the answer to it or you want to be helpful, please take the power and the empowerment and answer them. I love it. Love it. Okay. I'm just going to shout out somebody real quick. Lindsay Bozeman is freaking amazing. And so is Natalie at responding to anybody that has questions or just confirming or affirming or like building up people in here. And I just want to shout those people out real quick because I don't feel like a lot of times we receive, um, kudos for trying to step out and make the initiative to help people. I feel like a lot of times, and it's not just corporate world. I know y'all hear me constantly talk about corporate world and I don't want to sound like I'm bashing them, but that's just where I had a lot of experience in this. But a lot of times in the corporate world and other places in the world, we're told to be silent and be quiet during meetings. <clears throat> and so a lot of times I think that's beat down into us in this society. I'm giving you the empowerment that if you see something on here and you can lift somebody else up or you can help somebody and you see somebody comment down below and I don't answer them right away and you know the answer or you want to help them out, I am giving you the authority and the power to comment down below and help somebody anytime you see a comment and you want to help out. So thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Natalie. Anytime somebody comments down below and I don't get to it right away because I'm living life or helping kids or corral people. I want to say thank you to all of my people on here. First of all, that come in and say, Hey, I also want to say thank you for reaching out and like taking ownership of this community. And when somebody says something or you want to confirm or give them advice or help them out, thank you, because that means a lot to me. And that's the kind of community I want to foster on this page. And in my personal page, you are welcome to have an opinion to have a place, to have authority, to be able to give your peace and things as long as it's not something that would tear somebody down or keep them from the faith, okay? Because everybody's very, very entitled to be able to have their own faith and beliefs and stuff. But on this page, we do lift up others and we do encourage faith, okay? So, now that I said that little soapbox, let's get ready. Let's do our devotional. We're getting ready to get picked up from um, a friend. We're going to have a little ladies lunch. And so I need to hurry up and get ready because I don't have a lot of time. And I just realized it is almost time to get picked up. And I have been just chatting away. So good morning, my beautifuls and my sugar boogers. Um, I know you probably wonder where I got that. That comes from my grandma. She used to talk about a 
Um, she, I think she used to call it that. And then I remember somebody laughing saying that it looked like there's a booger in the sugar. So I've always talked about sugar booger. Now I did have somebody on here and I'm not um, trashing them because they just didn't know. They were just misinformed. But they're like, oh, there's no way I would say call somebody sugar booger. Do you know what that means? Uh, yeah, actually I do. It's, it's booger sugar. That means cocaine not sugar booger so we're not talking about that <laughs> but just in case you wanted to know i'm here to inform and educate so i'm happy to do that now let's get ready and do our devotional let me really quickly read this out because i need to get ready um but the word always comes first so we're going to put on our skincare and we're going to talk about it so today I want you to be reminded that you are valued in God. And our scripture reading for today, if you really want to deep dive into it, is um, 1 Peter 2, 4 through 10. So the primary way that Satan wants to undermine you is through lies about your value. If Satan can convince you that you are worth nothing or that your worth is low, he will do it because the Bible actually tells us, in other words, God's word is the Bible, okay? God actually tells us that we are full of value, that we are created in uh, his likeness. Um, that we are the inheritors of the kingdom. So not only do we have value, but we have like extreme value, okay? There's one thing to have value, to have a price, but there's another thing to be priceless, okay? When you're the inheritor, the inheritor of the king of the whole universe, it's more than one thing to say that you're important, okay? Now, um, having that high value doesn't mean that we're better than other people. It just simply means that you're not as low value as you thought you were. And the Satan will try to get you to do that so you forget your purpose. He will try to do that so that you're so distracted by what the lies he tells you that you can't be able to walk in the authority that God gives you. Because when we have authority to do something, we can make mountains move. Can I get an amen? Like this was meant to be preached today. So remember 1 Peter 2, 4 through 10, if you want, um, if you want some reference to this scripture to look over later. Be a Berean who tears apart the scripture and reads it and doesn't just listen to what people say. <clears throat> Challenge it, in fact. Uh, if you want a recipe on how I make my weight loss Reese's chocolate coffee that I just made today, it is going to be included in today's newsletter. And it is only, good morning, Untung. Um, it is only included in my newsletter. So make sure you say email club or newsletter if you want that exclusive tutorial today. Today's the last day for our, um, uh, pharmacy choice day it's like amazon prime day but all things pharmacy gotten on for two days it ends tonight at 11 59 eastern p.m and it's got everything from makeup to hair care to skincare and more um and you get five dollar foundations and so much more so if you want to check that out make sure that you are saying choice i'll send you the link or you can go down to the link below under the speckled cactus and it'll be under makeup and skincare and you'll see all the things on the little banner that flashes down, okay? So Satan's primary purpose is to undermine us through the lies about our value and he'll cause you to question your worth and second guess your significance so that you will either labor for significance or you'll wallow in your defeat. Oh, that needs to be repeated, Daphne. Okay. All right, can we repeat that? Yes, we can, and yes, we will. Sorry, I'm looking for my skincare and I'm getting distracted and I'm just gonna use my eye cream today and not my hydrogel patches because honest to goodness, it's okay, like, we'll be all right. Anyways, um, he'll cause you to question your worth and second guess your significance so that you either labor in significance for the significance or you'll wallow in defeat. Okay, I've been through two of those processes, okay? When Satan had me questioning my worth, I was working for the corporate world before I entered into my own business full of empowerment. And it's nothing wrong with working out there, but just know that it's not 
your whole value because I thought that in my work was my whole value and I questioned myself when I was let go from my business and I wallowed in defeat for quite a while. But God, okay? <laughs> So when we believe Satan's lies, we rely on our own ways of determining what our value looks like. We inevitably tally up what our deficiencies are, what causes us to overwork, to compensate for them, or to give up altogether. Now, my lovely, if you're on here, please just drop me a hashtag replay or say hey or give me a little emoji so I can say hey back because I so appreciate and value you. That's because we will always strive if our basis is for valuable Okay, we always will strive if our basis for being valuable is subjective, like if it's up to us, okay? We can't base our enoughness on our ever-changing feelings because feelings change all the dang time, okay? We often hear that we're sinners and our good works are filthy rags in the sight of God. But what we don't hear much about is what our value is to God. Think about it. No one pays $20,000 for a $5,000 car, unless they're bad in debt. <laughs> we only pay money to the level of value that we view something, okay? So if you see a $5 foundation, you're not going to want to pay $200 for it, okay? It doesn't make sense. So realize that God put the highest price he could have paid for us, all right? He proved to us that we have infinite and measurable insurmountable value to him because he God reflects his love that when we were still sinners, that that's when Christ died for us. He didn't wait till we were perfect. He waited until we were at our lowest and then he died for us, okay? But the truth is that God doesn't base your value on how good you look, how well you do or perform, how smart you sing, how much Bible you know, or even how much you feel about yourself. Those things do not affect his, his sense of value to you, all right? Through Christ, you already retain objective value. Nothing can threaten it. Nothing can shake it. Although, through Christ, you will retain this objective value because you can put all your confidence in objective worth of Jesus. The next time you feel like you're not valuable, let me just tell you to remind yourself that your worth is not up for negotiation. It's not up to your opinion. Your value is fixed in what Christ already did and how he feels about you. And He his feelings don't change. Okay? He already paid that price. He already thought you were worth it. So despite how you feel about yourself or what you value yourself to be, Christ already set a value on you and it was worth his life. Okay, that's all that matters. Good morning, Natalie. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. So the thing that we need to remember is 1 Peter 2, 9. I don't care if you have to put it on a postage stamp, not a postage stamp, a postage and stick it to your forehead, the bathroom wall, whatever. You are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. I'll see you soon. If I have to, I'll put makeup on in the car, y'all. All right, so just this is our declaration today. It's not even an affirmation. It's a declaration. This is something that we are proclaiming to Satan, to the lies of hell, to the world, to ourselves. I am valued by God. I don't have to strive because I will never be disgraced. I am confident that God has given me infinite honor and worth. Can I get an amen? Are you guys on your way, like already leaving? I just want to know how much time I have. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and quickly put on this primer. This is my glow primer. If you love the way it looks because it gives you a nice little highlight, I combine this with my highlight up underneath my foundation, and then I use my glow $5 foundation, only $5 today. And that gives me a little shimmer and a shine to reflect. Do you like that word? reflect what God thinks of me and that is that I am so bright all right so let's do blush we're gonna do the underpainting that's all under oh you're leaving in two minutes okay that gives me enough time doing my blush underneath it's called underpainting we do it under the foundation we're gonna use our liquid highlighter which is absolutely my absolute favorite thing if you guys followed me when I was with unique you knew one of my favorite things is different colored eyeshadows and highlighter because it makes your skin look so youthful and beautiful and it doesn't matter how old you are how dry your skin gets how you feel about yourself your skin looks freaking beautiful with highlighter you just have to figure out the amount of glow that you want to show <laughs> do you like that i made that rhyme you got to figure out how much glow you want to show so for me 
What's really good about this is it comes in a form of a cream, which is amazing for summer. So it's not going to be greasy. It comes in a form of cream, which is amazing for dry skin. So it gives you a youthful glow. If you feel like your skin looks dull and you're already working on it with skincare, this is just going to give you a little, mm -mm -mm -mm, a little zhuzh. And then it also gives you a little glow without the shine if you have an oily face, okay? So even if you have acne, this is going to make it look super healthy, all right? I'm going to add a smidge of some sunscreen. This is like baby sunscreen Aveeno Continuous Protection. Next month, I'm going to be sharing a bunch of different product reviews that are not pharmacy that I've seen on the market that I just want to show y'all that would go well with some of the makeup. So beware, we're going to do a little product review for back to school kind of thing. We're going to do like a little product review, but um, again, not today, not today. All right, so you get two of these um, face sculpting palettes this will last you over a year and these are freaking amazing these are one of my favorite things to use for my eyes for my face and for my um what else my contour if you like to do contour then you get cream blush again amazing for dry and oily skin let's go ahead and use i already put my primer on let's use my glow foundation that i need to reorder if you're in my vip group make sure that you either comment here or you comment in my vip group when i repost this video that you want to do a bulk order if you want to be added to my bulk order um when i reorder this because you automatically get a five dollar foundation with a fifty dollar order so i'll be getting mine for fifty dollars already put in there if you want to be added to it and get your $5 foundation, make sure you say that. But it's only till today. It's only till today. And this is amazing on dry and oily skin. It's just more medium coverage. And I hear a lot. Now, Natalie might be able to say a difference of opinion on this. But I hear a lot that as your skin gets older, especially past your 40s, that you want a more dewy, a more hydrating coverage because it's not settling in the crevices can we get an amen we don't want it settling in no crevices okay um i am not a proponent of saying that everyone has to have botox i'm just interested in it and i want to eventually get it so if i ever get it i'm going to share my journey with you because i feel like there's too much taboo around it i think people can get a little crazy with it if they're not careful but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing and I know a lot of people like to promote natural beauty and that's okay too um but just don't hate on people for it but one thing I was going to say is um I don't want people to feel also self-conscious and feel like they have to have it as well is what I was going to say on the other end to that spectrum so make sure that if you are kind of like I don't want to go towards that region or I don't want to feel extra self-conscious Make sure you're using hydrating products. Make sure that you're giving your skin a chance. Just because you have makeup on doesn't mean it's going to break out or make your skin worse. In fact, a lot of our products are skincare infused and clean products. And so make sure you're doing that so you don't feel extra self-conscious about it if you're going to use it. Um, I am going to bump up my coverage a little bit today because I need to, I just want to. Let's just be honest. I just want to. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and quickly put on some of my VFX right over the top. And that's just layering and building up coverage. You can skip this part if you don't want a fuller coverage. But I just kind of like it when I break out. I already put my tea tree on today for my breakouts. They're doing pretty well. They're not getting out of hand. Um, one thing I have noticed that has consistently worked is if you put brightening products on your breakouts like niacinamide and vitamin C, they help with um, clearing out your breakouts quick as well as the tea tree. The tea tree gets rid of the inflammation and the puffiness and then I also use the little pimple patches. If you want some pimple patches added to your bundle, make sure you tell me, hey, I want a freebie pimple patch. I just ordered from you on choice day. Can I get that? And I'll say, girlfriend, 
then I will surely add that to your bundle. That will be a little thank you for me. I like to add freebies as a thank you for supporting me. Know that you don't have to buy from me, but I will say thank you as a process for those who who do that for me. So we're just kind of building this up so we can quickly get this like maybe 10 minute face together since we got people on the way coming to pick us up. We're having a little, I don't think I fully described what we were doing, but we're having a little ladies luncheon. For a lady that's always sweet to us, she always lets us borrow her mountain cabin, and she has been going through a lot of health issues, a lot of family health issues lately, and so we're going to go out and meet her and just like fellowship together, and I love when we get a chance to do that. I ain't going to lie, your girl kind of is not crazy about, I'm not crazy about socialization. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy since we're literally on social media and I'm in front of a camera, but it's easier to do that than to do that socially, okay? It's an art. Being social is an art, I'm just gonna tell you. So don't ever think it's easy. Um, all my introverts will agree with me. All right, let's do our foundation. Um, I mean, not our foundation, our powder. This is great if you want it to stay for a while, especially if you have oily face. I have two different powders that are on my sale. One is translucent compact powder. If you just like it to be less messy and not loose. The other one is more finely milled and it's just loose. So it's just a matter of preference, but they're both on sale. One comes in a pack of two on sale for over 30% off and the other one comes off for 50% off. And that's actually the one that I'm adding to my um, order because it's one of my favorites. It's less messy and you know your girl's already a hot mess so we try to do less mess in our life so we can turn that mess into a message, okay? Anyways, I love this in the BB powder. It's like my favorite. I used to like kind of cringe at the thought of putting extra powder on because I'm like, your girl is aging. Why does she need more powder on her face? But this stuff is so friendly and creaseless on your face, okay? All right, so moving on because I do not have a lot of time. We are going to add our face sculpting palette that's on sale. You get two of them. Can give one away if you want or do like a stocking stuffer ahead of time start saving your money so you won't have to spend anything as it gets closer to the holidays or just keep it for yourself for when you need it and you start turning extra pale during the winter or transitioning back into the spring and summer for the next year you'll be amazed at how much you can use this and how versatile it is very very natural Anyways, I was saying, being social is an art. It is something you could totally learn. It's not something that comes naturally, but you can't say that you can't learn. You definitely can. So for me, it is easier if I go in a group of people that I'm already pretty comfortable around when I go to try to be social with people. Whereas, like, I'm not going to lie. When I first have to meet somebody in public, it takes almost an act of God for me to get out to go meet them. Especially, like, new people that I'm having to meet. It's something that gets me, like, my anxiety up a little bit. And it's just, like, I don't know why, but I just set myself up for a lot of anxiousness when I go to meet somebody face to face for the first time, it's not like it's a big deal. It's not like it ever turns out really wrong. One of the people that I'm so glad that I forced myself to go see was my friend named Corinne. Um, so if she ever watches this, know that I love her so much because she has like been one of the most valued Christian friends I have met this year. That's been a new friendship that I've actually got to see in person. I absolutely love her. She just makes me laugh and lifts me up and I just love the way she talks. Like she could seriously start a podcast. She's so good. And so one of the things I'm so thankful for is um, even if I never end up being like some millionaire or whatever, which was not really my intentions anyways when I started this business, even if I don't end up doing none of that kind of stuff, one of the things I can truly say that I love about this business is it's put me in contact with a lot more people. I probably would have never had the chance to meet if it wasn't for doing this. And so I am so thankful. And that is crazy coming from me because if you know me, you know I am not one to really overly put myself out there. I don't do it. I'm just going to be a thousand percent honest with you. I don't. 
All right, let's go ahead and we're going to deepen up this contour real quick with my stick contour. This is on sale as well as all of my stick blushes. Um, I usually recommend putting this on before your powder, but I just kind of got lazy. Um, not lazy, more like distracted. Let me correct myself because life and death is in the power of the tongue. But um, y'all are going to notice I'm a little flighty today. I'm sorry. A little more flightier than usual. But uh, if you use a kabuki brush, even if it is a creamy product and you don't want to take off your powder, just pat it instead of scrubbing it and it will stay on there. You just kind of have to be a little bit more intentional on how you apply it. One of the things that I kind of don't recommend is putting a contour stick like I'm doing right on top of a bronzer because it's more olive toned. Um, so yeah, that was my, that was my little tip of the day. All right. Um, my newsletter should go out by this afternoon. So if you're a part of my newsletter club, make sure that you're checking and make sure it's not going into your promotional. Sometimes my newsletters go into my, into the promotional section or the social section of your, I know with Gmail anyways. So check there. And if you see something from the speckled cactus, it is from me. It's just sometimes, I don't know why, but I use this platform called MailChimp. And sometimes for some people's email, it goes into their little promotional or social section. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I've tried to figure it out. I've done a little sample email and sometimes it'll show up on my main email page and other times it's on the social part. So I don't know if it flags it with certain topics or whatever, but when I find out, I'll let y'all know. But just be checking. It should be out today for our updates on what our sales are so you don't miss out in case you didn't get the notification on social media. Sometimes social media be like that. I don't know why. I need to shave this eyebrow like really, really bad. And I don't know if I can find my little tinkler. Hold on. Do you guys use tinklers? And did you guys grab anything on the Prime sale or do you plan on grabbing something? They have a lot of really good, um, it's not just electronics and stuff that's on the Prime sale. They have a lot of good stuff on the Prime sale with Amazon. There's a lot of good Bible studies on there and I really want to grab one before the end of the day. So I'm thinking about it, but I just got to figure out which one I want to do. I try to kind of be intentional about what Bible studies that I grab because even though a lot of people mean stuff well with intention, not all people that spread the gospel have the most in tune with the doctrine of the word of God the correct way. But I will never like smash them for that because the one thing Jesus said is if they're doing it in my name, don't be trying to like get mad. Just let, let them do their thing. If they're doing it in my name, they're doing it for me. It doesn't matter. So we got to get out of our own way when we're Christians getting upset if something's not always 100% right the way that we believe. Because if they're doing it for Jesus, that's all that matters and that's all that Jesus cares about. I know that's going to like make some people mad, but it's the truth because Jesus said it, okay? You can take it up with him. You can take it up with him, sister and brother of God. Okay. Um... I know my comments work because Natalie just commented. So if I missed one of your comments, I'm sorry. It delayed it on its own. I didn't do it. It was Facebook. Blame it. Lippy of the week. Lippy of the week is going to be shared on my newsletter today. So if you like the Lippy, they're pulling in. Hey, Siri. If you like the Lippy, I will share it later. All right, we got to go. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to stay sharp and always be on point. My ride is here. I'm going to go put on my mascara in the car. Talk to y'all later.